Prescott's value goes up and up and up. They might be the worst team in the league. Well, I mean, even with the Jets, they're tied for the worst team in the league. Frankly, that is not good company, but I'm keeping good company with my fellas, Keyshawn, J. Will, and Zubin, presented by Progressive Insurance. All of our guests on the Shell Pennzoil Performance Line. Just give me 15 seconds to talk about the one thing everybody's talking about. Then we'll get right into the subject we want to talk about, the best backup in the league. Handle it. As we all know, Key and Jay, you guys know this, sports has always been ahead of society. Always. And I'm just going to make it granular. In college football, we used to care about the polls. Now the polls mean nothing. Mm. The only thing that matters are rankings. Jay, you know this in college basketball. Being in the top 25 poll does not guarantee you a spot in March Madness. And... Sports being ahead of society. Maybe society is catching up to sports because no matter how you voted yesterday or in advance, stood in a line, mailed it in, how long it took or whom you voted for on either side, I think one thing we may learn no matter what happens is polls may not be trusted in society the way they are no longer trusted in sports. Let's That's a get great bipartisan comment. Thank you very much. Let's get go. to the spot that begins and ends with trust in the NFL. That's the quarterback position. No Dak Prescott, no Andy Dalton, concussion, reserve COVID-19 list. You won't see him this Sunday. Jerry Jones, Cowboys owner, is pretty firm after these comments yesterday on Shannon RJ 105.3 The Fan in Dallas's weekly radio spot. Pretty sure you're not going to see Dak, you're not going to see Andy Dalton, and you are not going to see Ben DiNucci. Well, I think uh, that, that it was a lot for him. I think we uh, uh, certainly, as a team, paid the price uh, to uh, have him come in and, and uh, under those circumstances, and uh, th- and that's almost right. Uh, it was, uh, frankly, uh, more than he could handle. I don't know uh, what you could have expected for somebody to come in under those circumstances. So that's Jerry being pretty definitive. They're now down to Garrett Gilbert, who's a 29-year-old practice squad player, or Cooper Rush, who's been in and around the organization as well. We'll see what happens. The Cowboys, (laughs) as if things couldn't get worse, they get the Steelers, the league's lone undefeated team, Sunday afternoon in Dallas, where they're currently a 13-and-a-half-point underdog. So it kind of leads to the discussion, fellas. Uh, We kind of felt like Andy Dalton at a $3 million clip, 7 mil with incentives that he probably won't hit now, but at $3 million, even 7 million would be a great backup quarterback, a great option, a guy that's gone to the playoffs but he is now out of the mix so it stands to reason who is now the best backup quarterback currently key in the national football league i think you can go around the league obviously and you can start finding guys eh, you can make cases for pretty much everybody and i and i kind of did that in a short order last night and then again this morning um i thought about ryan fitzpatrick but i moved on from that and i moved on to Jameis winston in new orleans and here's why mm-hmm. I trust Sean Payton more than I do uh, Shane Gailey, the offensive coordinator, play caller for the Miami Dolphins. Okay, Jameis Winston has been productive in the National Football League. Although he threw 30 interceptions, I would discount 15 of those between bad routes, balls off hands of receivers. Mm -hmm. So I'm slicing that in half just because I know there's a lot that go into throwing 30 interceptions. It's not just, here, here's the football to the other team, like people make it out to be. Um, and on top of that, Jameis off the field history from college and into the pros also kind of plays a part on the way people perceive him about the interceptions and his lack of play at times. You look at Teddy Bridgewater, you look what he did when he was in New Orleans as a backup under Sean Payton. So for me, it's Jameis Winston. Jay? You sure about that? 100%. Are you, are you really sure about that? You're 100%. just arguing with me for the sake of arguing with me. I'm not arguing with anybody. I it, so you, it wasn't you, an argument. You turned it into an argument. I just said I thought about Ryan Fitzpatrick. And then I thought about it again, and I said, you know what? It makes more sense because Jameis Winston is with Sean Payton. I trust Sean Payton as a play caller. I don't necessarily trust Shane Gailey and his style and the things that he is capable of doing with quarterbacks and the history in watching him coach in the National Football League. On top of Jameis Winston being a really good player, he just yeah, got I, you fired up for first take. He just I know you warmed up yeah, for I'm first take this up. morning. But let me, <laughs> but Key, but what does what, is, what does play calling have to do with throwing interceptions? It, it has a lot to do with throwing interceptions because a play caller puts you in a position to not make mistakes, not allow you to drop back fifty times. Teddy Bridgewater was did a great job in five games in New Orleans, and again, I discount half of the interceptions because. 
If you watch games, receivers run wrong routes sometimes. They drop balls, even to the point where God, when his receiver in Tampa said, all of them are not on Jameis Winston. I understand that, but I also just watched Jason Garrett in the Giants play the other night, and I thought Jason Garrett did a hell of a job from play calling. I saw Daniel Jones force a lot of balls. I seen Jameis Winston force a lot of balls. Yeah, I but thought, those, I thought we would've... those picks with Daniel Jones was some ill-advised throws th that it just under duress and just decided, I'm going to throw the ball away to the other team. That's not Jameis. Jameis wasn't doing that. He had to get the LASIK surgery to make sure that he can oh, see man. the fit. Just, I'm just asking. Just give, it, just give, I'm just us, asking. Just okay. give us your backup, man. Please. It's Ryan Fitzpatrick. I thought you Jesus. and I both agreed on this. I mean, a guy that threw for six TDs. And my question is, I don't know what you've seen from Jameis Winston recently that would make you think. Last time I remember Jameis Winston Well, playing, you're not going to see anything I know, obviously. from a backup. Backups don't well, I play. Saw, I, uh, well, I saw Ryan Fitzpatrick They're, play a lot well, before he, was he became a, a backup. He was he a was starter, a then became starter a backup. He was a starter that became a backup. Yeah. But I can go to Jameis Winston's film from a year ago if you want to watch him. Now, I'm not anticipating him to play in New Orleans, but if he does play in New Orleans, I'm comfortable with him and Sean Payton continuing to win games. Didn't this man just yell at me in the first segment for cutting him off, but yet I've been cut off four times thus far, just trying to make my point about Ryan Fitzpatrick. Can I get some respect, Keyshawn? Just a little. Key, put some respect on his name, will you? Uh, he's not, now he's not going to talk. Now he's not going to. I know. I know when Key gets this way, he gets salty. He's not going to want to talk to me. All right. All I'm saying is Ryan Fitzpatrick, six TDs, and I, if you're looking at Jameis Winston as a prospect, I get that. I would take Winston over Fitzpatrick. I'm just saying from the body of work that I've seen from Ryan P Fitzpatrick this year and to the success he's had with the Miami Dolphins, I would take Ryan Fitzpatrick as a leader and a backup QB over Jameis Winston right now. I, 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 don't, I just don't think Jay Will is listening. I don't think he's listening. I do too. It's not sometimes. about what he's doing this year and whether or not he's playing. It's about the head coach. It's about the system. It's about Sean Payton knowing what to do with Jameis Winston, much like he did with Teddy Bridgewater. That's all I'm saying. I'm and I'm not that. looking at the 30 interceptions in the 5,000 yards and the 30 touchdowns that Jameis Winston threw for in an offense with Bruce Arians, notably, as you know, Zeke. Yes. With quarterbacks in their first year with Jameis Winston outside of Tom Brady, there's a high interception rate with Bruce Arians. Right. Because just, just saying. Correct. The reason for that is he's a no risk it, no biscuit. He wants to throw it all over the just field, saying. putting guys in bad spots, throwing into coverage. You know, so Jay, he lead is this a risky. To me. That's all. I, I mean, you are the football expert. I'm the fan. I, 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 that's a great point. Speaking <laughs> of the fans, I want to get to the fans because this morning on the Dr. Pepper Twitter line, 88 say ESPN. 888-729-3776 or on Key J and Z. We're essentially asking you who's part of the Jets solution and who's part of the problem. Everybody's got to take some culpability here. Darnold, Gase, the head coach, and the general manager, Joe Douglas. Let's head right to the phone line. Sean in New York at the epicenter of it all on ESPN Radio. What do you think? What up, Sean? Morning, guys, man. It is painful to be a Jets fan. I'm going to be honest with you, but here's what I would say. I don't know with Sam Darnold yet. I'm with Key. For now, he has to be part of the solution. This Gaze experiment has been a nightmare. If you put in the kid from Clemson in the same spot, how is he going to be any better, Jay? He's in an ACC basketball conference with superior talent. Put him in the NFL with no blocking and no wide receivers to throw to, not a great halfback. I feel like you take that draft capital. You start to fill in the holes, and maybe two or three years from now we say, you know what, Darnold's no longer part of the solution, but you've got to build a core and then go from there. So I'm just – Gase experiment's been painful. Key, he should have been gone. I don't know what's going on, but I just feel like for now Darnold's got to be part of the solution. Get some draft pieces. James, can I ask you a question, James? You, this is twice now that you said for now. I mean, we're at the midway point, right? I mean, midway point of the season. So what you're saying is you're open to things changing in the next eight games or so. That's a possibility for you, correct? Yeah, I don't know that anything's going to change, but I'm just saying Darnold for now, without the pieces around him, I mean, put Keyshawn Johnson in that offense. Let Darnold have a guy like that to throw to. It looks different. He's having to throw to guys that are much better than me. So I, for now, Darnold's part of the solution. Get some draft capital and, and take a snap in 18 months, Jay. And see what happens. But ACC is a basketball conference, man. Don't be too crazy. <laughs> you can't use the basketball conference thing. I mean, look at Clemson's dominance. Look it's at their a, dominance. 
I, I understand what he's saying. I hear what he's saying. Fo- football wise, Florida stays down. Miami is not really what people thought they were in the beginning of the season. I, I kind of get it. I understand. We got to go to break now. That we do. Let me just give you an update on what people are saying on our Twitter poll with regard to that question. We essentially have collated everything. We're asking you again on the Key Jay Z Twitter Nation who will be a part of the Jets solution? Sam Darnold, Joe Douglas, both. Neither. 59% of the early returns Mm. have said neither. Not particularly bullish, including Mike Marici, who just hit us up on the Dr. Pepper Twitter feed, said, I hope I got your name right after years and years of people getting my name wrong. I'm sensitive to that. Joe Douglas is a good GM. Give him time to hire his coach and draft his guys. That essentially is in some ways encapsulating what Key said. And obviously, Key's been much stronger. 